Welcome to Ample Hunting, I'm BJ Holdsworth. Feral goats are widely distributed all over New Zealand, but on the east coast of the North Island where we're situated, the climate here tends to favour the thin-skinned animal that they are. Feral goats are promiscuous, prolific breeders. It is believed that their numbers can double triennially, even in areas of poor habitat. There's no predation for feral goats. There's no coyotes, there's no wolves. There's not even any goat-killing eagles. It's up to man to make sure that feral goat populations don't get out of control. Feral goats are pretty much free-roaming animals. They're experts at finding holes in our sheep fences. If there isn't a hole there, they'll soon make one. I've even seen adult billy goats jump clean over a fence with ease. Sometimes when hunting these critters, you can pull off some pretty good fluky shots. They'll surprise everyone, especially yourself. These shots can give you an immense amount of confidence. This video was taken in the spring of 2013. Hope you enjoy it. that size with the broad heads that we're using he won't go far at all he'll be uh, piled up around the corner <sighs> gone right through him plenty of good blood and that broadhead is still as sharp as a razor. I'll be able to use that again, for sure. Alright, well, he went that way, so I don't actually see any blood. But he'll be here somewhere. 
about 40 yards away from where he was hit. He's piled up. The shot's gone in here. It's possibly cut. It's liver in half and it's gone right through on the angle. The arrow went right through it, carried on another 15 yards after going through the goat. Here's the exit wound here. Lungs. So, perfect result. We had the dreaded wind change. Oh, everything's blowing out of here. We've had a bit of a wind change. Yeah, he's got a really, really bad foot, but it, you can't even put any weight on it. He's a pretty good goat, but he's only got three wheels. We didn't need to wait long before the goat started to move. Finally, it was all going to happen. He never offered me a shot and simply disappeared into the shrubbery. 60 yards. 
When they came out, the distance was out of my reach. We had to make a move. It was do or die dead goat or go home time. Finally, when we caught up to them, they were right below us, just 20 yards away. history. Look at this baby. Nice and heavy and these horns almost go up like an ibex. What a cool trophy. I don't believe how heavy. It's probably one of the heavier goats I've seen. He looks to be no, eight, nine inches around the bases. And they're curving up like that. Very, very cool. They are a very underrated trophy species down here in New Zealand. And they're fantastic fun with the bow. They're not as wary as a deer. They give amateurs like me a chance to get nice and close and, and uh, put an arrow in them. This is gonna look really, really cool on the wall, this guy. Smells a bit though, they do smell pretty bad. And unfortunately for him, he, he had a buggered knee, I think. His feet are all overgrown. So he wasn't in good health. It's good to take something out that was probably in a bit of pain. But not only that, is I've got this wonderful trophy to look at. Well, what happened next was completely unprecedented. When sliding down the ridge, what we hadn't seen was a nanny and a small kid in a pocket right next to us. Now, this dynamic duo bolted, alerting the goats at the bottom of the hill that we were chasing. It was seemingly all over, but we decided to give it one more go. After all, I wanted to get some blood on my new monster Chill R, and I wanted some goat meat for our freezer. Gender. We've got to get a goat with our new chill. I'm not worried at all. 
So hopefully we're going to be able to catch them out completely unawares. Right. Yes, <laughs> finally. Well, here's my arrow. Blood the whole length. And a reusable helix, which I love. And over there is my little dead goat. It made 25 yards, if that. So, very lucky, a very lucky outcome.